what really just happened? Did we just really go and lose 4 0 at Goodison Park against Everton? Guys, this is Mr. Joshy J, and Manchester United have lost 4 0 away at Goodison Park. What can I say? Where do I start with this? Just where do I start? You know, the whole game, one shot on target, I repeat. One shot on target. You know, what the fuck was that, man? That was fucking horseshit. From start to finish, everyone on that field should be ashamed of themselves. Only Gunnar Solskjaer walks up to the fans and claps the fans their fantastic support to say sorry for how shit we played. As Alan Shearer said in the Sun newspaper column, that should be the players doing it. Of course it fucking should. You know, the players should walk up to the fans and apologise immediately. You know, that was fucking abysmal performance. That was the worst Manchester United performance I can recall in a long time. You know, Everton, Rich Anderson opened up the scoring. Good goal, you know. And then the second goal, Sigurdsson, what he scored. Now, fans are criticising David De Gea. Yes, I know he made a crap mistake against Barcelona, but there was nothing he could do about that Sigurdsson goal. It was such a powerful shot. So, yep, 2-0 Everton. And then, this baffles me. In the second half, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer brought on Ashley Young and Scott McTonney when we had two attacking players on the bench, you know, Alexi Sanchez and, you know, someone else. I can't quite recall, but I don't give a shit. You know, that was poor substitutions. We are in such a mess. I'm not blaming Ole Gunnar Solskjaer one bit. These players need to take a long, hard look at themselves in the mirror. It absolutely baffles me how some players can still remain at this football club. You know, you got lazy cunts like Anthony Marshall, Alexi Sanchez. The amount of wages they're on, just fuck them off. Get them out of the club and clear their wages. Clear the huge wage bill. You know, I can name about eight or nine players who I want to out this Manchester United team in the summer. First one, Ashley Young, Nacho Darmihan, Marcus Rojo, Juan Mata, and Herrera. I like him, but it looks like he's off to Paris Saint-Germain. You know, Alexis Sanchez, he can piss off. Anthony Martial, he can piss off. De Gea, I do like him, but if he wants to get out, you know, then just sell him. You know, as I say many times in court, no player is bigger than the club. But that yesterday was an absolute fucking embarrassment. The whole team should be absolutely ashamed of themselves. I really hope Oli Gunnar Solskjaer had that dressing room on lockdown. Because I would have had every one of those players, the whole dressing room on lockdown, I think. What the fuck was that out there? And if I was Manchester United, I would refund the Manchester United fans for that absolutely shambolic, abysmal performance. You know, just nothing, absolutely nothing. Just one shot on target. I mean, come on, what's that all about? You know, seriously, man. Only Gunnar Solskjaer said in his post-match interview, he said, I'm going to be successful at this club and half these players won't be with me on this journey. Good, finally, we've got a manager who's talking about passion. You know, he's going to spend the money wisely. Unlike Louis Van Hall and the Portuguese Mr Bean, who wasted the money literally all on one player. But, you know, I'm starting to wonder now if it was all Jose Mourinho's fault. You know, 
player power looks like it's taken over at Manchester United. And this needs to be eliminated immediately. You know, we need a board a director of the club. Now they're on about making Mike Cleland technical director in the club. To me, I think that'd be a smart move because I think he would recruit the players who we need and, yep, get Ed Woodward to let him step down from this position. Absolutely useless, you know. I think he's to blame for this mess as well. I mean, just absolutely, that was unforgivable. You know, just, I mean... The fans were absolutely amazing, but they do not deserve to be treated to this shit. You know, I mean, I thought after the Barcelona game, we would look to respond. I was thinking, great, no Ashian on the pitch. He's on the bench. But what does Solskjaer do? Brings him on in the second half when we're 2 nil down. That just absolutely baffles me. You know, just... Oh, I'm at a complete loss, but just where do we go from here, you know? We seriously need a big, big clear-out. And now we have the Manchester Derby next. Oh, God help us. <sighs> All I want us to do is put up a fight. If we get beat by Manchester City and we play well, I think, right, fair enough, we gain a go. But if we perform like that... Again, we deserve to get absolutely smashed. And of course, our arch enemies in Liverpool are hoping we draw or beat Manchester City so they'll stay top of the league. And Manchester United fans, a lot of them are saying they rather have City win the derby than Liverpool win the league. You know, I agree with that, but if you want your own team to lose on Wednesday night, don't fucking bother turning up to the ground. You know, you support your team nevertheless. So what if it hands Liverpool in the Premier League? The consequence of getting Liverpool in the league. So what? Tough shit. You know, we got to go out and try and get top four. You know, so we need to do our business. Whoever wins the league out of Liverpool or Manchester City deserves it at the end of the season. But any fans who want us to lose on purpose, don't... Fucking bonger turning up. Just stay at home. That's all I gotta say to it. And, you know, to the board, and that seriously, give Solskjaer a lot of money. Because until this team is sorted, there's no way we are challenging for Premier League titles, you know. Looks like next season will be as Mark Goldbridge on the United stand would say the Emmerdale Cup, the Europa League. I mean, I know we're in the Europa League before and we won it and that's great, but I don't want to be in the Europa League. I want us to be in the Champions League. And to make matters worse, you know, Tottenham lost to Manchester City and Arsenal at home bottled it against Crystal Palace. And what do we do? We fucking go and lose 4-0 at Goodison Park. Well, mind you, we're not the only team from Manchester to get 4-0, get being 4-0 Goodson Park. Manchester City in Pep Guardiola's first season, they got beat 4-0 at Goodison Park. So, I'm glad we're not the only team in Manchester, but that was an absolute shower of shit. You know, that was just absolutely heartbreaking to watch. Abysmal. I felt so sick and depressed. You know, some of these players really need to fuck off right now and get the lazy cunts out of this club. As all things Man United say, I think his name's Dan. Yeah, anyway, I'm just so pissed off, furious, human. I'm sorry for the bad language, but I need to get this off my chest. I feel hurt. I just absolutely despair. What the fuck is going on in this football club? Ugh. Fucking sort it out. Bye-bye.